And so I'll take it from there and then we move to the main thing. It says, and do, and this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Next. He says, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. He's talking about, you know, the world's competition in athletics, okay? And how that they are all running towards a specific goal, depending on the description of your race. It could be 100 meter, it could be a relay, whatsoever it is. Hallelujah. Yeah. But it says that the goal for that, you know, to obtain a prize. And Wednesday I told you, this is not price. This is prize, Z. So you don't read this. I told you one time a man of God read this and said that, so you have to pay the price. This is not Price. This is prize. So you can't take this and tell people to pay the price because the price has been paid by Jesus. There is no other price to pay. For your Christian walk, you can pay the price in your business. <laughs> But when it comes to your relationship with the Lord, when it comes to your walk with the Father, the price has been paid. It is because the price was paid. That's how come you find yourself in the position you are in now. That's, that, that's it. So there is no price you have to pay. What you call the price to pay are your privileged responsibilities. Your prayer, your fasting, your giving, your meditation, and all that, they are your privileged responsibilities. They are not the price you paid to get something. Because the Lord has brought you into what he has given you already. And someone paid that price to make that possible for you. So now that you've been brought into that thing, there is nothing you can pay to be brought into what again? Are you with me? There is nowhere in the scriptures that suggest paying the price as a child of God. Nowhere. But he talks about receiving or obtaining, obtaining the price. Not price, the prize. Are you with me? It's pride that wants us to, you know, amplify our works to make us feel important. But I don't need to feel important before you. As long as I am important to the Lord, I'm fine. I'm fine. But not to you. Are you understanding? Not to you. <laughs> 